the neon red dragon. Oh yeah, kind of reminds you of that red dragon from Revelation. Hello everybody, Jacob Israel's coming to you from the virtual set where all the neon signs are greeting you. Why did I choose this location? Because it's a cool place to tell you about all of the amazing breadcrumbs that I have found for you. Oh yes, it's been a show, an inspired show, one that I didn't plan, one that just came together like this, one that is gonna blow your mind. Think artificial intelligence has gotten spooky enough? Some people think that artificial intelligence is, uh, you know, the Antichrist. That's what they think. Some people think that. I'm not saying I do. And I'll give you the reasons. Because some people believe that artificial intelligence is made in the image of man. Man is made in the image of God. Man, according to scripture, is a beast. So, uh, the image of the beast, the image of man, would be artificial intelligence. The beast, scriptures say that we gave life to it, we give power to it to speak, that everybody in the world has to worship this beast that you can't buy or sell without the mark or the name the beast. Hard to buy anything today without, you know. But, you know, I never really thought that there'd be anything to be concerned about until I heard about Neon. That's right, Samsung is about to release something that could literally change the way we think of artificial intelligence. Yeah, it's no longer artificial intelligence. No, on January 7th, Samsung is about to release something huge. It's called Neon. Are you ready? <laughs> For the first artificial human? Buckle up, people. It's Tuesday. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Hopefully you have subscribed. If you haven't, check the bell, will you? This is a fun place. I talk about a lot of different things. I think you'll like it here, especially if we have, uh, you know, a new race of beings about to populate the planet and control everything. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but Samsung's releasing something that is a little bit concerning. Okay, so at CES 2020 in Vegas, that's a big deal about all the new technologies coming out. Samsung is set to release a couple of things. But the one thing that I'm surprised not a lot of you have heard about is this new being, I guess. It's no longer just artificial intelligence. It's an artificial human called Neon. Samsung disclosed that it will introduce an artificial human called Neon uh, in 2020, January 7th. This is a totally different type of artificial intelligence uh, than you're used to, it says. It's the Samsung Technology and Advanced Research Labs, you know, Star Labs, you know, for those of you who watch the CW and Flash, <laughs> Flash, you know, Star Labs. Oh, good grief. It's like, it's like we're living in a cartoon, right? Star Labs, led by President and CEO Pravnav Mystery, a veteran of the Samsung Galaxy, um, well, he tweeted, For the past few years, I've been working on something exciting. Follow at neon.life to learn more. Please share and ask your friends to join too. Neon.life. So I look it up, right? It's this spooky thing. It's like got this, it's got this countdown clock. Let's check it out. artificial human, right? 
the name Neon. So I'm, of course, you know, me, you know, Jacob, right? So he's like all about the names. So I'm like, I'm going to figure out what Neon means. I'm going to see what it means. And of course, I think of the Neon sign. No big deal, right? Look the word up. The root word means new. So I think that's interesting. It's like a new new artificial human. It's like a new species. But then it gets a little deeper because then I, uh, I come across Simon and Garfunkel's the last line in their song, Sound of Silence, about the neon god that people worship. People bowed and prayed to the neon god they made, and the sign flashed out its warning in the words that it was forming. And the sign said, the words of the prophets are written on subway walls and tenement halls. The neon gods. Neon. Like, what does it mean, right? Am I looking too deep into this? Is it weird that the Neon is now being re-released by Dodge? Of course, I think to myself, I think, oh great, 2020, right? They go on the stage and you, you meet Neon and it's like this, it's the first artificial human. So advanced. You know, of course, there, there have been some talk that Google's reached quantum supremacy and blah, blah, blah. But this is the thing that they would do, right? Of course, they make some kind of cool discovery and then they bring it to, uh, you know, the big fair and it becomes all the big talk. And everybody's going to do videos on this, I'm sure. I can't wait. I hope Neon's not just some lame app on a phone, you know? I really, I really do. I hope it's a lot cooler than that. But you can't help the fact that a lot of people think that, you know, this beast system is basically it's the internet. You know, and it's uh, AI running in Bitcoin. We know all about what's going on with all the all the talk about how the UN is going to take over Bitcoin and how you know it was actually created by the NSA and all this stuff. That all of this is a big power play, right, to control us further. So you think it's like, am I scared? No, I'm not scared because I don't even know if any of this stuff is true. But if I'm looking at life like a movie and I'm thinking this is cool, this could be the point. This could be the point of the story where the artificial human comes and it's the uh, turning point. And we're, uh, next thing you know, we're like Neo in the Matrix, waking up in a simulation of simulation. Matrix, the next movie's coming out. I'm excited, are you? This is where it gets a little weird, right? So as I dig a little deeper into Neon and the Neon God, I stumble upon this website, and this is interesting. Take a look. This is called themostholyplace.com. Now, I'm not, I haven't vet this website, but it basically takes a lot of science and matches it with scripture, and here's CERN. And we're gonna find the Alpha experiment is kind of spooky, all right? The Alpha and the Omega, right? The anti-hydrogen physics apparatus where they're trapping and creating antimatter. Anti-hydrogen would basically be the atomic equivalent of the Antichrist, considering hydrogen is the sun. So anti-hydrogen would be the anti-sun. Get it? That's what this guy says. Think it's cool. And check out the subliminal message here. The alpha symbol and the Jesus symbol. So interesting. You probably remember the Matrix, right? Well, guess what? That's the kind of talk that CERN uses. The Matrix. Remember the Mandela? video I just did. Check it out if you haven't seen it. So what do they need for this anti-hydrogen trapping scheme? No, not Neo, but Neon. Yes. That noble gas that is completely inert. The Alpha Experiment uses condensed Neon as its moderator, and they trap it. Now, this website compares Neon to, um, you know, the dragon. Also saying that lightning, I don't know if you knew this, lightning actually creates antimatter. Very interesting stuff. He makes a connection here that neon is bright red when it's electrified. Here's the uh, the dragon neon sign and that he transforms himself into an angel light. I don't think neon is the devil, but I thought it was cool nonetheless. You know, this artificial human could be uh, something, something that starts something. I don't know. I don't know. But I tell you, it was sure, it was sure f fun going through all this weird stuff. I hope that you guys didn't get too spooked out because I'm not spooked out. I'm not nervous about anything. Like I said, this is all of our lives. It's like a big movie. I think this is really cool. Look into uh, Neon.life, right? Don't get too, uh, don't get too hooked on it though. 
Um, <laughs> this is some weird, this is a weird day we're living in, right? I love you guys. I hope you do share, subscribe, tell your friends, and uh, have the best day ever. I love each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Jacob Israel. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and share this channel around. If these shows have helped you, help Jacob to reach more any way you can and have the best day ever.